Welcome back to my channel, you guys. It has been way too long since I've uploaded a video. I think it's been four months since my last upload. I think it was in March. Oh my gosh, it has been in March. So I am so sorry that <laughs> there has been such a long break in between uploads. I've been really anxious to get back. I've been still trying to learn how to balance mom life and YouTube and uploading videos, but I'm here. And I have a really exciting day today. This is the makeup look I'm doing. I created this look using the Catrice X Iman palette. There are three palettes that Iman came out with Catrice. There's an eyeshadow palette, a cheeky blush palette, and a highlighter palette. I got these at Ulta. Um, I think they are $12 a piece. And I have heard so many great things about the brand Catrice, but I've never used it, but um, I've heard so many great things about it. So I'm so excited to um, be showing you this fun look I did today. Um, if you don't know Iman, she is a YouTuber, a beauty influencer, and she's so amazing at doing makeup. Um, she's so good at her look. She's known for a bronzy, smoky eye, and which is what she came out with. She came out with this eyeshadow palette it's called Bronzed AF Eyeshadow. Let me just show you this real fast. Look how pretty. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to start with the eyes, and I'm just going to prep the eye with a little bit of concealer as a base. So the eyeshadow will go over it smoothly. You guys, sorry if I'm a little rusty with the, these tutorials. It's been like four months, I think, since my last upload. But I haven't stopped collecting makeup. <laughs> I just still feel like I'm trying to get in the habit of, find, or trying to find a balance of being a mom. Just what I said in my last video, if you watched my last video. <laughs> I still haven't found a balance. <laughs> of being a mom and trying to do YouTube at the same time can be really tricky. So I'm going to take the eyeshadow palette, the Catrice X Iman, and it says Strong is Beautiful. This is the palette. It's really, really pretty. And I'm going to go in with the shade Fairfax. I'm going to take it in my socket, but also use it as like a setting powder over the concealer so that the eyeshadow will apply more evenly. I'm gonna go in with the shade Runyon right here. I'm gonna focus it on the outer edge and in the socket. I don't know how pigment, ooh, that's pretty. I kinda wanna go for a blown out smoky eye. If you haven't followed him on, go check out her channel. She is known for the most beautiful bronzy looks of all time. She's so good at them, so it makes sense that this palette is like, it's like the perfect bronze palette. And I'm kind of just bringing it down. I want to go for like the, like cat eye look. And so I'm going to like sweep the eyeshadow up like this. Don't worry about any fallout because we can clean that up with a um, wet wipe. But so far, I feel like the shadows are blending really good, really smoothly. And I'm just kind of like working that in the outer V. This is the first time that I've played with these palettes, so we are experiencing this together. And I hope that this turns out. So I'm just building it up and I'm using super light pressure. The brush I'm using is a Morphe R39, just a blending brush. And I'm just packing it on and going super lightly. I'm not tugging at the skin because when you tug at the skin, it will cause the shadow to skip and it will look uneven. So I have hooded eyes, so when I close my eyes like this, it can look different as if I were to open it. So I like to apply my shadow by looking down like this, and then I look up because sometimes the when I look up, the, my eyelid will hide what I just did for the shadow. So then I look in the mirror, like straight on, and apply the eyeshadow like this. And I want it to go a little bit higher up, and this will 
help guide me by keeping my eyes open of what people will actually see. So in all of the palettes, um, I thought it was super cute about Iman. She named the shadows and the highlighters and the blush palette after everywhere she's lived. So the specific eyeshadow palette is all different names from California where she lives now. So like Runyon, Canyon, Malibu, Laguna. I just thought it was super cute of her and I'll go over the other names in the other palettes but I thought that was a really cute idea to like incorporate herself into her palette she created. So when I really want most of the color in the outer V, I take the tip of the brush and I just stamp it in. You could just use like a brush with a flat head, but I don't know, I feel like this works fine. And then I'll blend it out. I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush. This is the Smith 247. And I'm gonna take the color Sunset right there and just blend it up to my brow bone. Blend it in with the color Runyon. I want my eyeshadow to be more diffused and blown out instead of harsh lines. And by applying a lighter transition color, that will help do that. Some people like to apply the transition color before. And I, it just depends what I feel like that day, but I don't know, I've been liking the technique of applying like a darker shadow and and then applying the transition color to blend it in. See how it just like, it adds more of a diffused look right there so the edge is not as sharp. I'm also blending it into the side kind of by the V just underneath the red, the deep color, the Runyon color, just on the edge, just so it kind of like ties together. But I'm doing this so lightly. But that looks pretty. And then I'm gonna go back in with the Runyon because um, I lost some of that color, but that's okay. You just go back in and you just apply it again and get apply it until you get the color you want. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the color Melrose. It's this pretty pink color. And I'm just going to start blending it in the inner corner of the eye. So that's pretty, it's just like a soft color. I don't want the pink to stand out a lot, so I'm just doing it really lightly. I think I'm gonna start with Laguna, the more coppery one, because I think that will blend well with the Melrose. I might end up wetting my brush for it to apply more pigmented, but I'm just gonna take a flat concealer brush. This is by e.l.f. They have the best brushes, you guys, they're so cheap. Um, and I'm just going to apply that to the center of the eye. Okay, I think I'm gonna wet that. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Fix Plus and wet the brush. And then dip back into the palette. It's still not as dark as I want. I'm just taking it up to my crease. Okay, so now that I have that down, I'm like, the inner corner just seems more blank. Like, there's not as much color. Maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of the Malibu the more bronzy shade. So I just want it to be a little bit more dramatic. Let's see what that looks like. I'm just gonna place it like over it. The beauty of makeup is if you don't like how it turns out, you just wash it off. Start over. But I'm liking how that blends in more with Runyon. Yeah, that's pretty. Can you see that? I'm going to take the refer brush and add more of the Milrose, the pink color, because I feel like we lost just some of that color and I want that color to be deeper. Okay, I'm going to go back in with Runyon, um, just in more of the crease. I just want to deepen up the crease a little bit and then deepen up the outer V. And then I'm going to take the transition shade that we used, Sunset, and just kind of clean up the area by blending it so we'll still have that diffused look okay for the foundation before i use foundation i'm going to go in with the becca backlight priming filter this is just a primer i'm just going to use it on the high points so i'm going to use it on my cheekbones some people like to use this all over their face but 
I really don't like how it looks when I do that. But I am going to apply it up here. Uh, for foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade 410. I don't know if this is going to be too light for my skin tone. I think this might be, so I'm going to add in um, a darker foundation from Thrive Cosmetics. It's their buildable CC cream, hopefully. It will be close to my skin color. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques blending brush. This is a little bit light. Oh well, I'll just fix it with bronzer. It's uh, it's hard because it's like I have so many different foundations, but not for like in the summer when your skin changes colors. It's hard to. It's like I don't want to go buy double the foundation. I think there's a like a mixing medium that I've seen from NYX that you could mix in just to darken up your foundation. You can customize the color. I should probably get that. Now I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just further press in the foundation. Or you could just apply it with the beauty blender. This is not the beauty blender. I call all beauty sponges beauty blenders, but it's not. This is the Thrive Cosmetic Sponge. I kind of feel like for with how dramatic the eyes are, I should have gone in with more of like a full coverage foundation just because the color from your eyeshadow can pull out like redness or discoloration and I don't want it to do that. So, okay, I'm just taking a more full coverage foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and seeing if that helps with the coverage. Okay, now I'm going in with some concealer. This is my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. And I'm just taking some on the back of my hand because this concealer is too light for me. And I'm gonna mix it with my the CC cream, just like that. And then apply it with my finger. I'm gonna set the under eyes just by using my Rimmel Stay Matte powder. Taking the Beauty Blender like this, looking up, and this will help avoid any of the creasing. I don't wanna be shiny on my nose, so I'm gonna take it on my nose and the center of my forehead and my chin, and then I'm not gonna powder anywhere else. For the under eye, I'm just gonna take the color Sunset transition shade we used. Just start connecting the shadow to the color we did up there. I'm going to take this across the whole under eye. And then I'm going to take my Runyon brush and just blend. If ever you think a shadow is too strong, just take a clean blending brush and blend away. And that will lighten it up. I'm just going to take a flat shader brush, this is by e.l.f. as well, and I'm going to take Runyon just on the tip and then run it just on the outer edge. I'm not going to run it um, along the entire bottom of the eye. I just want it to be darker on the outer edge to kind of like connect with the top shadow. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I love, love, love this bronzer. And then I'm just gonna tap. Tap on the my cheekbones, up on the temples. Because this um, foundation is a little light for me, I feel like I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the bronzer. I'm gonna take it across my nose because I want it to have a bronzy look. And then under the chin. Now, the thing I'm super excited about for this um, collab with Iman is the blush palette. Let me show you. Look how pretty. I think I'm going to use these two colors. So there's three mattes and one shimmer. This is the shimmer shade right here. So I'm going to first put down the matte. And then I'm going to top it off with the shimmer shade and we'll see how that looks. I'm, bl I'm starting at the temples of my cheeks and just blending up backwards into the blush, or into the bronzer. 
So when I tap it, there's kind of a bit of fallout on the blush, which is okay. But it's blending very pretty. I like that it's buildable. I would prefer that rather than having just like a super strong punch of color on my cheek and then trying to build it up. I appreciate building it up on my own. I'm gonna dust this off and go in with the shimmer shade on top. So I'm just taking the um, shimmer and just like focusing it on the balls of the cheeks because I want those to like highlight, highlight my cheekbones. I'm gonna take just a fluffy brush and just kind of blend it in. Blend out the edges, blend it up. I'm gonna take the blush up here because I want it to be more like connected on my face and across my nose actually. So I watch um, other tutorials and I saw Scott Barnes, he's JLo's makeup artist and he does this trick at the end where he just like blends everything lightly all together. So it just is like all married together. And I like that. Um, Iman created these palettes for everyone with all different skin tones and I really appreciate that because if you look at the highlighter palette, they can work on all different skin tones and what I like is you could use these as like eyeshadow, they're like multi-use highlighters. Same with the blush. So I'm just going to do a mix of both. I'm going to do like this and this. I like it. I think it's really pretty. I feel like this is buildable too. Pretty. Look at that. Time for some brows. I'm going to use the Precisely My Brow shade for an, oh, shade 5. I'm going to brush up my brow. I'm going to do my brows off camera because it's the same way that I've done it in all my other videos. So I will be back. Okay, now that my brows are done, um, I just finished off. So I filled in the brows using the brow pencil and then I finished off by using my favorite gel that I use every time. It's the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Vol Volumizer. I don't think they use it, they sell this anymore, at least not with the this tip. They have a different tip and I hate it. So, sorry about that. But now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Wait, I didn't add eyeliner. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to do eyeliner. I could. Should I? I could take um, one of those colors. I don't think I'm going to though. I'm just going to use... I'm just going to do this because I'm liking how it looks. But um, I like that Iman did have this um, black shade in here. Um, or this brown shade because you could just define your eye with the eyeliner brush instead of going in with the eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with my Monsieur Big Lancome. But I'm really gonna layer on mascara because I don't wanna add on the falsies. So one thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is I wanna start including just more conversations of like wellness in my videos. I'm really passionate about wellness, like mental, emotional, physical. As much as I love makeup, like I rarely <laughs> will wear it except when I fil film a video or just like once a week when I'm going out on a date or something. But I feel like my I'm really passionate about wellness and I'm always listening to podcasts, audiobook, and I just want to share things that really resonate with me and maybe they will with you guys as well. So there's a lot I eventually want to talk about but I really want this channel to be like a positive thing in your lives. Like makeup is really fun, of course, and it's a fun hobby and it's a fun es fun escape, but I also feel like there's more to life than just makeup. And I really want to share that with you guys. For right now, I just want to talk about things you could do in your life. Maybe just encourage you guys to just do one thing during the day to help better your life to help make you feel better and just feel more confident and um more prepared going through your day so one thing that i am working on oh my battery says it's low crap okay i changed the battery so i'm just um taking this sephora waterproof crayon 
And I'm just tight lining. I just did this side and I'm gonna do this side. My baby just woke up. So Forrest is 15 months now. I'll go get him so you guys can see him. But he is getting so big, saying so many words. His favorite thing is to climb. He loves, no, I take that back. His favorite thing is to fish. He says ish, ish, and he loves to climb. He's just so cute. Okay, here's Forrest. <laughs> Who's that? He calls me dad. He calls me and Adam, my husband, dad. Anyway, um, what I was saying is, as much as I love makeup, and I, oh, let's cook it, and I think it's so fun, I just want this to be a positive channel for you guys and one where you can find encouragement and hope and um just to feel better overall like within all the aspects of health i just i want to pass on what i learned because like i said i spend a lot of time researching and listening to things reading things that just help improve my life so I just want to start out with something simple today. I just want to encourage you guys to do one thing today that is going to help you feel better. That could be drinking more water or going to bed earlier or um, getting exercise. That's what I'm going to do. I have a gym appointment at 2.30 um, with daycare. I know when I do those things and when I make the gym and make that a priority, I just feel so much better about myself and my confidence is boosted and I just feel like I can conquer the day more gracefully, I guess. So I wanna know what you guys do that help you feel better during the day and just challenge you guys to get it done, <laughs> really. So, oh, he's on me, okay. But I have to finish my lips. <laughs> what do you need? You want this? So to finish the lips, I almost forgot. I'm just gonna use this lip liner. I love these lip liners, they're super cheap. Like, I think this is like two bucks. Um, LA Girl lip liner, I got it from Ulta, and this is in the shade Sugar and Spice. And then, I'm just gonna fill it in. I just find this lip gloss that I got on sale at Ulta, it's the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Creamy Lip Oil Lip Gloss. This is called Papa Don't Peach. And this is because it's more lip oil, not a gloss. I don't find it that it's sticky and I love the color. And it's just like really nourishing my lip because it's an oil. Okay, I just took my hair out, put my hair down. Um, this is the look, the final look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love the colors of the eyeshadow palette. I think it's beautiful. I think it's... Um, these colors would work good on everyone. I think everyone needs a good bronzy palette in their collection. And the price of this is awesome. The way they blend is so beautiful. And then the blush palette is amazing. I love having these different tones of the blushes. The highlighters, like I said before, I love that she created a palette that could work well on every, every skin tone. There's just so many different ways you could use these and I think Iman, you did awesome. Um, if you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, go check her out. It's just Iman, E-M-A-N. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this look? Sorry, there's like quite a few interruptions with the camera and my baby, but um, this is mom life and I'm learning how to balance it. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video, which will be really, really soon, I promise. This week. <laughs>